Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we continue our, our, our course, System Design Fundamentals, and today we'll talk about the algorithm, the famous algorithm, the road robin load balancing. Uh, we will talk about what is it, how it works, and why we need it. So first, uh, what is round robin? So round robin is a simple and widely used load balancing algorithm that um, distribute the incoming requests or network traffic evenly across like the group of servers or nodes. And the primary goal of the round robin algorithm is to ensure that each server receives an uh, approximate, uh, approx <laughs> like it uh, uh, receives like an on average equal uh, share of uh, workload. So, um, so yeah, uh, this is what it is round robin, and let's talk about how it works. So let's assume that we have these clients, and we have the uh, the uh, load balancer, and uh, it works with the one uh, the round robin uh, algorithm, and we have the server uh, list or the server pool. So um, first, let's just try to talk about the server list first. The server list, the the the, the load balancer basically maintains a, a list of available servers or nodes that can handle incoming requests. And uh, this list can include uh, physical servers, virtual machine, containers, or any other computing resources. Um, and we have the clients, and we have the request distribution. Basically, when a new request or connection comes in, the load balancer routes the request to the uh, the next server in the list. So basically, what's going to happen if we have the client one try to send uh, a request to? the load balancer the load balancer will send it back to server one and server two the same server three and server four and we will end with this example so basically as you can see here we have request distribution like basically when a new request or connection comes in the load balancer routes the, the request to the next server in the list so basically it follows a circular or a round robin order moving the, uh, to the next server each time um, a request is handled um, also it's a quite as you can see also we have the equal distribution if for from as you can see here because the key principle of friends uh, for, for uh, of friend round rover is to ensure that each server is um, in the list receives um, an equal share of requests over time um, this distribution is done sequentially without considering server load capacity or capacity and if we have more servers let's say that we have a, a new client like client number five so basically we will start to repeat so basically client number five it will be connected with the load balancer and load balancer will send it to server one so basically the last thing that we talk about is the repeat so basically once the load balancer reaches the end of the list like for for this example uh, it starts from the beginning again continuing the cycle as a uh, cycle and uh, this process repeats for each new incoming request and so why, let's talk about why we need the round robin like let's make this quite smaller and, uh, and so i will say the first thing that we need the round robin for is that um it's quite simple so um a round robin is done of uh, it's one of the most simplest load balancing algorithms to implement it doesn't require complex algorithms or or a real time monitoring of server loads making it really easy to set up and manage um we can talk about like the the workload the uniform workload so basically um let me make this quite bigger for us so basically um Round robin ensures a relatively um, a uniform distribution of traffic among servers. Uh, this can be advantage uh, uh, advantages uh, when uh, servers have similar uh, capabilities and there is no need to consider their uh, current load or performance. Also, it's a predictable behavior. The good thing about a little balancer is that we have a pre predictable behavior. So. Um, because round robin follows a fixed order, its behavior is uh, is predictable. So this makes it suitable for scenarios when uh, predictability is important and administrators want to have a clear understanding of how requests are distributed. Also, we have the low overhead. Um, the round robin um, 
the round robin has um, uh, uh, has uh, has low uh, computational overhead because it doesn't in, uh, involve complex calculations or server health checks. This can be beneficial in high throughput environments. Um, also, we want to talk about some limitation or consideration as well because it will be quite important to talk about the. Let me just. So let's make this. So. Uh, So in, in terms of the limitation and the consideration, um, we could say that, um, and the first thing that we could uh, say about is that the unequal server capacity. So let me check that. So if the servers on in the list have different capabilities or capacities or performance uh, characteristics, round robin may not distribute the load effectively some servers may be um, underutilized while others may become overloaded um, also we have the other problem that comes with the round robin is that the we have the lack of uh, system lack of health check round robin doesn't consider the health or uh, availability of the servers if a server become um, um, un a responsive or failure it will continue to receive requests leading to potential server distribution uh, uh, d d disruption um, also we can like uh, we talk about the the session uh, persistence so um, we have the own job doesn't provide session persistence so for a tasteful application that requires user session uh, to be maintained on the same server Additional mechanism are needed or like maybe you can do some other additional mechanism But I would say that this one is that like most of the system designs right now they use the stateless uh, Architecture, so I guess the session persistence uh, Maybe maybe it will not be maybe you will save the session on the front end But it's worth mentioning that if your application needs a session persistence or me need the state uh, the round robot is not good for that. We have the adaptability because it doesn't dynamically adapt to change in server loads or conditions. Other load, uh, other load balancing algorithms like weighted round robin or least connection address this uh, limitation. And in the future, we will talk about the weighted round robin and we will talk about the least connection um, um, algorithms. So in summary, round robin uh, load balancing is a straightforward and effective method for distributing traffic among multiple servers. It's often used in scenarios where servers have similar capabilities and administrators uh, prioritize simplicity and uniform more closed distributions. Um, however, for more complex environments or when server capacities vary significantly, um, other load balancing algorithms with dynamic capabilities may be more suitable for that. So uh, yeah, that's it for today's video and I hope you like my content. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video and see you in future problem.